the News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Showers and thunderstorms starting to move on into the Susquehanna Valley. Outside right now over Harrisburg, it is cloudy. Temperatures right now are at 80 degrees and dew points sitting in the mid-60s with a light breeze out of the southeast. We do have an active warning out there right now. We do have a flash flood warning for northern portions of Mifflin County, closer to State College. You can see how the line of showers continues to progress mainly to the east. Embedded in that line is some heavy downpours. So from north of Lewistown, closer toward uh, where Penn State and points to the north and northeast is going to receive some pretty heavy downpours over the next hour to an hour and a half as this moves uh, to the north northeast. Notice the overall size of the storm system has come down in the past couple of hours. This will continue to be the case as it treks to the east, but I do expect we could pick up a good half an inch to three quarters of an inch in a few isolated spots, mainly from Juniata County up towards Snyder County. The rest of the Susquehanna Valley could get hit a good, uh, I'd say, half an hour to an hour downpour as this storm system moves across uh, the region over the next couple of hours. So from now until sunset, be prepared for these scattered showers and thunderstorms as they make their way off to the east. The parent storm system center is well off to our north. So this is moving very slowly to the east. So we'll deal with some scattered showers today, but also for tomorrow as well. So here is News 8 Storm Team forecast. Temperatures only making it into the 80s. And then we'll start to see the rain chances come down as we head closer to sunset. Temperatures will slowly drop into the 70s. And then overnight tonight, we drop into the 60s. And we'll start off tomorrow with mostly cloudy conditions and temperatures right around 66 degrees. For today, the pollen count continues to be at a moderate level. Ragweed and grasses are the major players. UV index is at a six. With the rains coming down, notice the temperatures have cooled off toward Lewistown at 68 degrees, where we've had a little bit of sunshine break through the clouds. It's closer to 80 degrees. Harrisburg, I think, will make it to about 82. Dew points very high. That's the fuel for the passing showers, so any rain that comes down could pack quite a punch. The rain that we have outside right now is thanks to an upper level disturbance moving through uh, the Commonwealth. That will continue to drift off to the northeast, but then there again is the parent storm system, and it's just slowly trekking to the east. High pressure is trying to build back in over southeastern Canada. That's that drier air that will eventually win out. This storm system is going to move to our north, and eventually the rain chances will shut off, but that's not going to happen until we head on into Friday. So here we are at evening drive time, right around 5 o'clock. That's when the line looks like it will be crossing over the Susquehanna River and then moving into our eastern county. So from Lebanon, Lancaster, maybe a little bit later in the afternoon for our scattered rain chances. Then overnight, the rain chances fizzle out. We'll be left with some passing clouds. Heading into tomorrow, much of the same type of story. Another storm complex looks like it's going to be devolving. And then we'll have some scattered showers to contend with during the afternoon and early evening hours. And then as we head into Friday, we'll lose the rain chances overnight. Same story. Some, some scattered showers back in the forecast. First pitch forecast for the Barnstormers of Revolution, right around 80 degrees. I do expect there to be a few scattered showers out there around. It doesn't look like it's going to be a washout for the game, but there will be some passing rain chances. At the beach, scattered showers and thunderstorms likely starting Thursday, and then it looks like the rain chances will dwindle by the time we head on to Sunday. This is the same case for us. I think we've got some scattered showers to contend with until we get to Friday. Then we dry out and cool back down. Temperatures dropping into the lower 80s. Some spots not even getting out of the 70s on into the weekend ahead. So we've got a little bit of rain to deal with. Also, the case up there for the Little League World Series. They could be oh, dealing with some showers right. too as well. Yeah, big game tonight. That's right, a huge game. Yeah, well, more than that in just a bit. All right, Ethan, thank you.